The Ant in the Photograph Written by Joan Link Illustrated by Deborah White Focus Question What problems does Darren face? How are they solved? Tonight was parents' night for Mr. Casey's third grade classroom. Darren was excited. He felt like a balloon filled close to bursting. He rushed through his favorite dinner. He did his math homework as fast as he could. He begged his mom to please let him walk the dog after parents' night. Finally, Darren and his mom arrived at school. My project is right over there, Darren said, pulling his mom across the classroom. They wove around rows of desks, then stopped in front of the art table. Here it is, Darren proudly pointed to a sculpture of a brightly painted giant ant. I recycled stuff that was being thrown away, like milk cartons and bottle caps. Can you tell that the legs are old toilet paper tubes? You did a great job, Darren's mom said. It's as colorful as a circus clown. Thanks. It took me almost a whole week to make it, Darren said. Let's take a photograph of you with it, his mom said as she pulled her camera out of its blue bag. Darren picked up his aunt, held it high, and grinned for the photograph. Be careful with that, his mom warned, placing the camera back in its bag. I'm not ready to leave yet. Darren put the aunt down and followed his mom as she toured the room. Returning to his aunt, Darren said happily, I can't wait to show my aunt to dad when he gets home from his business trip. He held his aunt high and admired it. But in his excitement, Darren didn't notice a book on the floor. When he stepped on it, his feet flew out from under him as if he'd stepped on a banana peel. He and his aunt crashed to the floor. Oh no, it's ruined, Darren exclaimed when he saw pieces of his aunt littering the floor. He picked up the flattened milk cartons, twisted straws, and ripped paper that had made up his aunt. There's no way I can fix it, he moaned, and Dad never saw it. I'm sorry, Darren, his mom said, helping him pick up the last pieces of his aunt. I hope the photograph of it turns out, said Darren. Good thinking, his mom replied. Dad will like to see that. She put the last of the ant sculpture pieces in the wastebasket. Are you ready to go? We can stop at the house, pick up the dog, and go to Elm Creek Park to walk him if you want. I guess, Darren said with a sad shrug. The next afternoon, the school bell rang and kids piled out of the building. Darren followed the crowd toward the buses, but stopped when he heard his name. Hi, Mom he said when he spied her. What are you doing here? Did you get the photograph from last night? No, unfortunately, I can't find the camera, she said. But you're a mom. You never lose things, Darren said. Maybe I left it at school last night, his mom said. Will you help me search the lost and found? But after digging through mountains of sweatshirts and sweaters, sorting through mismatched mittens and gloves, looking at socks, hats and scarves, they did not find the camera. Let's go to the office and ask whether anyone turned it in, Darren suggested, his voice filled with worry. But no one in the office had seen it either. What if we never find it, Mom? Darren asked as they walked to the car. You don't have your nice camera anymore, and I don't have a picture to show Dad. Well, his mom said thoughtfully, I'll check the apartment one more time. If it's not there, we may just have to hope for the kindness of a stranger. Was our name and telephone number on the camera? Darren asked. I don't remember, his mom answered. I sure hope so. Darren sat at the kitchen table the next evening, practicing spelling words with his mom when the telephone rang. He wrote a few words while he waited for her, but it was hard to concentrate. 
a gloomy cloud hung over his head. There was still no sign of the lost camera. He had tried to make another ant sculpture, but the whole thing fell apart when he started to paint it before the glue dried. Now he had run out of time. His dad was coming home tomorrow, and Darren had nothing to show him. When his mom finished her conversation, she made a quick call and then suggested they go outside for a while. I don't feel like it, Darren muttered. Mom smiled and gently tugged Darren to the door. Come on, a surprise is coming. Darren flopped on the front steps and waited, but nothing happened. This isn't a very good surprise, Mom, he sighed. Can I go back inside? His mom laughed. You'll miss the fun if you leave now. Look, an older boy riding a bike came toward them. Are you Darren? he asked. Yes, Darren answered slowly. The boy got off his bike, put down his kickstand, and extended his hand toward Darren. Hi, I'm Michael. Darren hesitated and then shook his hand. I think this belongs to you, Michael said, and pulled a blue camera bag from his handlebars. Darren's eyes opened wide. His jaw nearly fell to the front steps. Our camera? Thanks. Where did you find it? I found it in Elm Creek Park by a park bench, Michael replied. I remember now, said Darren's mom. We took a break from walking the dog and sat on a bench for a while. We must have forgotten to take the camera with us when we started walking again. Darren unzipped the bag, pulled out the camera, and turned it around looking for something. We don't have our name on this. How did you know it was ours? I discovered that you and I have something in common, said Michael. Darren gave Michael a puzzled look. He couldn't imagine having anything in common with this tall boy. Michael explained, I printed the pictures in the camera, hoping one of them would give me a clue about the people who owned the camera. I saw the one showing you in your classroom with your ant sculpture. And guess what? Darren shrugged his shoulders. We had the same third grade teacher. I'm in 10th grade now, but I remember doing the same project in third grade. Mr. Casey always has his students make sculptures out of recycled stuff. Really? Darren asked. But yours was better than mine. I made a dog but the nose was so long, everyone thought it was an anteater. Michael laughed. He pulled the photographs out of his backpack and handed them to Darren. I took the pictures to school and showed them to the secretary. She recognized you and called your mom to give her my telephone number. Then your mom called me. Now I can show the ant to dad, said Darren happily. Thanks, Michael. I guess sometimes people can count on the kindness of a stranger. Connections. Writing. Write a letter to Darren describing a time you had a similar problem and how it was solved. Art. Create a sculpture using recycled materials and display it in your classroom. 